<clears throat> hey everybody, uh, another encouragement, another encouraging word from the Bible. Uh, today we're going to be reading out of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10 and this is the walk not in the way of sinners. Um, we got, I know there's times where, like I said last time, I like to, I like to joke around and sometimes it might be not the right type of joke. It's a worldly joke. Uh, I need to get away from doing that. I know when I was younger, I walked with sinners quite a bit. I did the things that they did because it was cool and then my friends are doing it so I want to do it. Well, it's a part of wisdom to get away from that. It's a part of maturity to get away from that and to be more of a Christian and your Christian walk with Jesus. So we're going to start in chapter 1. Uh, we're going to do in verse 10. And we'll go from 10 uh, to 19, 10 through 19. Okay. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cease. Let us swallow them up alive as they grave and whole as they that, those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our house with the spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they, that, and they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life, the owners thereof. It's basically telling you, you, you got to walk away from that. You got to be wise. You got to have that wisdom. And um, you, you got to just think about, it's like the old saying that I know every Christian knows, what would Jesus do? He would not do that. Uh, it's, it's a temptation. It's part of temptation. You just got to know to, to get away from that. Um, when, when you go to the study notes here, uh, without cause is literally for nothing. Uh, Lurk privily is literally hide away, um, a synonym for lay wait. Uh, the grave is Hebrew, Sheol, often translates hell. And the pit pictures the opening to a grave. Both are symbols of death. Hell is the destiny of the wicked, but, <clears throat> but the righteous will be rescued from it. The victim was alive and still healthy, not expecting death. So, whenever you have the temptation to do what the, what the world's doing, the sinful way, whenever you have that temptation, uh, just please just think about what, what, what's best for your Christian walk. What's best to keep you away from them temptations? What's best to keep you away from sinning? Because as a Christian, you are going to feel condemned, or you're supposed to. You're supposed to feel condemned um, whenever you sin. And you don't you don't want to go towards that, that route. You don't want to go towards the road of doing that. I did things, like I said, back in the day that I wish I wish I didn't I, I didn't do. I wish I wasn't with them because now I think about it that I'm older. I'm just like, man, that was just not smart of me to do. Now, I, I didn't do anything crazy, of course, but I I still walked with the sinners and I still did the sinful thing. And um, as I get older, as I read more into the Bible, as I pray more, I just, I, I, I soak in the wisdom of the Bible. I soak in that, that spirit, um, the the fruit of the spirit of wisdom and to, to run away from all that type of stuff. I still fail daily, but every single day I, I am reminded, I am condemned every single day uh, from from God. I can feel Him talking to me that I shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. I shouldn't be talking and walking the way that they're talking and walking. I need to be different so I can set that example and so I can set that um, testimony for the unsaved and even for the saved. They, you know, they're looking at you. A lot of elders, they're looking at you, making seeing how you act, seeing how who you are, and. You want to be on the right track, and it's good to have the elders. It's good to have a pastor. It's good to have people trying to keep you in line because that's what we all should be doing as the church. We're supposed to keep each other, keep each other in in line with each other. But uh, yeah, so every single day, just try, just pray when you wake up. Just pray for wisdom in your Christian walk. Pray for that wisdom that you you will be able to get away from sin. You will be able to get away from the sinful nature and walking with sinners. 
so that you, you'll keep your eyes on Jesus, keep your eyes on the Bible, and just and make sure you're walking the way that you need to walk. Uh, just thank you for watching. Um, I, we will be back tomorrow, and I hope this was a blessing, and I hope this was an encouragement, and I hope you were able to to keep get, get that focus back, um, knowing that you have to go down that path of, of being a Christian, and if you are a Christian, that, that you need to go down that path. Uh, making sure that you're sticking to the path of the Christian walk, of the way what Jesus would do. Um, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again with another one tomorrow.